In Search Of has investigated the mystery of many ancient monuments, the pyramids, Stonehenge, and Easter Island. A solution to these puzzles may be concealed in Florida's Coral Castle. This monumental structure was created by one man with his bare hands in the 20th century. What strange forces created this castle of secrets? This series presents information based in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanations, but not necessarily the only ones, to the mysteries we will examine. Coral Castle has been called the eighth wonder of the world. This place is a fantasy garden and an engineering marvel. The blocks are cut and set with great precision, locked without mortar. At 30 tons, the greatest single stone in Coral Castle is twice as massive as any in the pyramids. Here are massive megaliths, huge astrological symbols, and structures whose purpose is a total mystery. Surprisingly, 25 miles away is cosmopolitan Miami. Coral Castle was built not in ancient times, but in the 20th century. Most curious of all, Coral Castle was built in secret by one man, Edward Leedskalman, a frail little hermit. With no modern machinery and with no help, he somehow hand-carved and lifted every single block, a total of three million pounds. With all our modern technology, we might be able to duplicate the pyramids, but how could we ever do it with our bare hands? Dreamers beyond the fringe of science have postulated a long-lost art of harnessing anti-gravity. It seems incredible, but Ed Leedskalnen may have rediscovered these ancient secrets. Let's look at his life story. The mystery of Coral Castle began in rural South Florida just after World War I. Settlers and land speculators began to move down from the East Coast, displacing the indigenous Seminole Indians. The newcomers found a humid, sprawling tropical land, full of mosquitoes and opportunities. The great Florida land boom was on. In 1919, as recreated here, a real estate man named Moser was scouting land along back roads near the Everglades. He spotted a stranger. At first, he thought it was a boy and was surprised to encounter a very small, grown man. The stranger couldn't weigh more than 90 pounds. Moser, always friendly, offered a ride. The little man introduced himself, Edward Leedskowler. Recently immigrated from Latvia, he said with a smile was searching this part of Florida for a specific plot of land. Moser realized the little man had advanced tuberculosis. Mrs. Moser always welcomed the strangers her husband brought home. 
Life was lonely in this new land. Edward Leedskownen was very friendly, very polite, and confessed outright he hadn't a penny to his name. The Mosers selflessly took young Ed into their home and nursed him back to health. They listened with respect to his story of leaving Latvia, of his search all over America for the right type of land. I'll know when I find it, he said. It's for my sweet 16. He would never explain who she was, but Ed was obviously haunted by a dream or a memory of land and a castle for his sweet 16. As soon as he regained his health, Ed continued searching the backcountry. Crazy Ed and his rusty bike became the butt of many local jokes. Neighbors, watching him prod the ground, began rumors that he was hunting for buried treasure. Ed always rejected the good farmland. When people wondered why, he only smiled.